guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking all about the handbags that I did not buy. So I think this is a really interesting video idea. Basically, it's just all about how, you know, you build up a handbag in your eyes and in your mind so much. You just build it up and build it up, and then when you actually go and see it in real life, you're like, eh, maybe not, and then you like, you pass. So it could be for a lot of different reasons. It could be you just didn't really like the way it looked, it could be quality, it could be functionality, it could be for a lot of different reasons. So I am gonna make this video a tag video, which I am so excited about. I've always wanted to do a tag video, so I, when I thought of this idea, I was a little bit hesitant because I don't wanna come across as being like a negative person and putting out negative videos, but I really think it's important to kind of get this perspective. I know um, some people have filmed handbags that they have sold and why, um, and I really love those videos because it just gives a different perspective on you know why a bag did not work out for them. However, that's just a little bit different than you know you building up a bag in your head so much and then you actually go and see it and you're just like nah, it's just totally not what I expected at all it's just not what I expected I have five bags that I am gonna talk about um, there's probably more but I did narrow it down to five and I think they're kind of interesting so I'm really excited to share them with you but first I am gonna go ahead and tag 15 people there's so many others that I could tag and I know 15 is a lot but I am kind of starting the tag so I figured it was a good idea to go ahead and tag um, just kind of like my favorite people and trust me there's more than just 15 and but I just couldn't go on and on and on so basically I just wrote down on a piece of paper you know people that came to my head so obviously I love Lux Mommy, um, LB, Drew Shikator, she's like Queen B, um, KW Shops, Lola LV, Hey June, um, Chase Amy, all of these people are just so amazing. Lydia Elise Millen obviously she's amazing too. Eva in the city she's made so many tags that are so wonderful so of course I'm gonna tag her I would love to see what she says. Minx for all amazing. Wendy the loving 50 another amazing I just love watching her videos. Fashionably Amy she's so sweet. My daily sweet which is Natalie she's so sweet I love her style and I love her videos and then Mel and Melbourne she's an amazing collection I've collaborated with her in a video before as well and I would love to see what she says um, guys don't feel obligated you totally don't have to nobody even has to do this but I think a lot of times when people you know build up a bag in their head and they decide against it that doesn't really get on to the YouTube channel that often because you know they didn't buy the bag they really don't have a lot of experience with the bag to really make a video about it but yet first impressions are like kind of a big deal I just kind of want to hear you know what bags you thought would be amazing and then they kind of like didn't turn out that way but as always my name is Shay and if you happen to be new here I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below I do post two to three videos every single week okay so here is my list I feel like every video I have to make a list because I have I just have to get my thoughts in order um, so like I said I do have five different bags that I was so excited about I was so excited to you know, go to the store, actually see these bags in person, and then I walk up to the counter, they pull it out, and I'm just like, mm, no, not for me. That is just not what I expected. And like I said, it's for a lot of different reasons. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the first one, and it is very surprising because I seriously loved this bag so much. I watched so many videos on it, and I thought I was gonna love it. And it is the Givenchy Antigona, or Antigona or however you say it. I'm so bad with names. Yeah, it just wasn't, it just didn't do it for me, like at all. And I'm, I'm so sorry because I know a lot of, probably my YouTube friends have this bag. Just another disclaimer, I don't wanna offend anybody. You know, again, I don't wanna come across as negative, but every single bag is good for a different type of person and not every bag is gonna be good for everybody. So when I see this bag on other people, the, the Givenchy one, I love it, it just looks, just, I don't know. I mean, like for a year, probably a year and a half, I built this bag up in my head that I was just gonna love it. So then I saw it in person, it just seemed very, very big and kind of like fat in a way. Like it sounds really weird, like just bulky and it just didn't, I don't know, it didn't do it for me. So then when I tried it on, it just uh, kind of again, like, Feel like it overpowered me um, I feel like the top had a lot of detail and then a lot of the front of the bag was just very very plain I tried you know the different colors I tried the smooth leather I tried the pebbled leather another thing is I feel like the sizing of that bag is very odd because there's like the medium which is just huge I mean that bag is just huge it's like it's almost like a piece of luggage in a way um, not really but like it just seems really big and then the smaller version it seems more norm normal but I almost wish that there was a bag kind of like like in between the two and there's just not um, so again I, I kind of like built it up and it just was an extreme letdown for me I still love the bag when I see it on other people but for me it just didn't seem to work out okay the next bag that I built up in my head and I was disappointed and it's not for the same reasons that you would think 
So the Celine bag, you know, like I'll insert a picture on one side, you know, the classic Celine bag that everybody loves. I loved it too. I still do love it. However, what disappointed me was there is another bag and it's the Louis Vuitton Flandrin. Is that right? Yes, Flandrin. And it is very, very similar. Like I feel like the styling is very similar. The handles, just the way they have um, the stitching, just it just reminds me of that bag, but I love, like I love, love, love the Louis Vuitton Flandrin. For some reason, when I saw the Flandrin, I was just like, that's what I like. But it reminds me so much of the Celine, which I also like, that I feel like if I bought the Celine, then I'd be like, uh, I like the Louis Vuitton one better, so I, I just wish I would have gotten the Louis Vuitton one. But then when I look at the Louis Vuitton one, I'm like, it's trying to be the Celine bag, but it's not the Celine bag. So I just feel like I can't be happy with either one. And so I've pretty much just pushed it out of my head. I wasn't really happy with either version for various reasons, even though I love both bags, but yet I feel like like I can't have both, I mean I could, but I'm not going to. Obviously, either one I'm gonna have problems with. The next one is probably another surprising one, even though I think I have mentioned it on my channel before, but it is very popular, so again, I don't wanna offend anybody, but again, this video is to be informative and to maybe you know give you guys a different perspective. So, the Chanel walk. I know, guys, seriously, just don't, don't hate me, but like, that bag, I, you know, everybody loved it, and I, again, watched so many YouTube videos on this bag because everybody has it, it seems like, I mean, not everybody, but so many people do, everybody suggests it, again, not everybody, but still, like, it's a bag that is kind of, you know, built up in the Chanel world, it's kind of like one of their classic pieces, so I was like, yes, I'm, I love this bag, I want to go see it, so when they brought it out to me, I was just, it was very, very underwhelming to me, and I just think it's because all of Chanel's bags are so incredibly luxurious. I mean, the turnstile locks are luxurious. Hardware is luxurious. Like, everything about Chanel to me is just so incredibly high quality. But yet, for some reason, when they brought the Chanel walk out to me, it just seemed... Like the quality just didn't seem like it was there for me. And I know like the front flap is a snap closure and that just, at least the one I tried, I tried two different ones and the snap, I mean it would snap, but it was, you know, you had to line it up right. It was just kind of like forced in a way. It really, really, really doesn't hold that much at all, which I know it's a wallet on chain, um, but it just, it seems like there's other wallet on chains out there that would hold more and it just, they would close easier. And so when I tried out the Chanel walk, I was just very, very underwhelmed. And again, I'm so sorry, I need to stop apologizing. Um, but it just it just didn't really work out for me. And then I did end up buying the Gucci uh, wallet on chain and I've been really happy with that one. And it does seem to hold more of the snap closures a lot better. So anyway, yeah, that was just another one that I was just kind of disappointed with. The fourth bag is actually the bag on my wish list. I, you know, I did that collaboration with Mel in Melbourne and we did a video where like you know I had a number one handbag that I that was like on the top of my list and she revealed it on her channel and so we went to Las Vegas a few weeks back you know we went into Gucci it was a Gucci bag and I was I basically went into that store and like I beelined for that bag there really haven't been many videos on it but yet when I would see it on the website I was just like oh my gosh that is just such a beautiful bag like it is so stunning and so I beelined for that bag and as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, that is gorgeous. Like it is a gorgeous bag. But when I tried it on, the way it laid on my hip, and I wish I had a picture of me actually trying it on, but I don't. Um, it just, it kind of was like, it just laid terribly. Like I felt like it stuck out. It was not comfortable when I walked. Um, and then the top handle was very pronounced. So, which was good, which is a, a big reason why I liked it. It was the bamboo handle. Um, but if I didn't carry it crossbody or over the shoulder, and you know, because I didn't like it that way, like it would basically, the only way that I could carry it was the top handle. And like, I love top handle bags. Some times but like that bag was pretty darn expensive I mean it wasn't like Chanel expensive but it was kind of more on the top tier of their line um, I forget how much it was it was probably like 3,000 something which is a lot of money and I feel like for me to spend that much money on the bag I'm gonna need to love all aspects of it and I just did not like it on me at all and again I thought the bag was beautiful just like I thought so on the website 
but when I actually tried it on, it was just really kind of disappointing. So um, this is something to consider. You know, when when you see a bag online or even on somebody else, you never really know what it's going to look like on you. The last bag that I'm going to talk about is actually the Louis Vuitton Alma bag. And again, that's probably surprising because so many people love this bag. It's a Louis Vuitton classic bag. And I pretty much decided that, you know, I should have this bag because it's kind of like the trifecta of Louis Vuitton. You know, you need the Speedy, you need the Neverfull, you need the Alma. But when I saw it in person, which was, you know, a, a quite a while ago, every time I look at it, which I have looked at it several times since because I just feel like in my head, like I need to have this bag because it's just like, you know, it's Louis Vuitton, Alma, like it's a classic bag. But when I see it in person, I'm just like, it's just not different enough in my head to justify buying, you know? Like I have the Neverfull, I have the Speedy, I have many other Louis Vuitton bags, the Delightful, like there's just a lot of bags. I don't know, it just seems like I don't love it enough to add it. And then I was like, oh, I'll get the Alma BB, that's totally different. You know, it's a crossbody, but then again, when I try that on, like I have so many other crossbody bags that I love, and I just, when I try that on, I'm just like trying to love it, and I just don't, I just, it's just not there for me. So if I ever do get that bag, which still in my head, I feel like I need to have it, and that's just dumb. Like I need to slap my wrist and be like, no, Shay, if it doesn't make your heart happy and, you know, make you squeal and everything, then, you know, don't get it. And in my wish list video, I said I wanted it in the Bernice leather. And that's true, but again, the more and more I think about it, I'm just like, I think I'm pushing it. I'm just trying to make it be something that it's not. So anyway, those are my top five handbags that I have built up in my head, and I've just been kind of let down and brought back to reality. So I hope you guys like this video. And again, I do tag those 15 ladies, which I will list their names and their channels down below. Um, if you guys happen to film this video, then I will definitely put um, your video, I'll link it down below in the description box so that if people do watch this video later, maybe they could check out your video too. But again, no pressure at all. Um, I was kind of, like I said, hesitant to film this video because I don't want to come across negative, but I do think it's just kind of an interesting topic to kind of discuss. And if you guys aren't a YouTuber, I would still love for you to comment down below what bags you built up in your mind, but they were just kind of like a letdown. I would love to hear your different opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you like this video. If not, then that's okay. There's going to be another video coming up sometime soon. So thanks for watching. Bye.